The market is a funny thing. When it, it is booming, it propels confidence. When it lacks, guess what? Markets crumble. We find ourselves in the second half of this year finding where buyers are tight, lower auction clearance rate, days on markets are expanding, and guess what? What's that gonna mean for your business? Well, here are the eight steps that I wanna walk you through that you need to do. Number one is goals. If you really wanna own the market in 2018, I recommend that you start writing down some goals right now for next year. Why? Because some short-term goals that you can write are better than the long-term goals. So the short-term goals is over the next 12 months, what do you wanna achieve in 2018? Number two is urgency. In a slower-paced market, good and fast-paced agents, guess what, leave the others behind. This is your opportunity to ramp it right up and start working with a bit of urgency and a bit of intensity and a bit of focus. Why? Because as the others are slowing down, this is your opportunity in 2018 to get ahead of the rest. Number three is control. When the market is changing, the buyers become a lot more fussier. So here's the thing for you, what you need to do, is start controlling your buyer's expectations and your vendor's expectations. Guess what's gonna be needed? Salesmanship. You need to go back and learn the dialogues that you need that will help you to, guess what, align your vendor with price and align your buyer's expectations where they can see value. So right now, this is the moment for you to understand control is super, super important. The final one in our part one series is number four. Guess what it is? It's skill. Yeah, you know what? I'm seeing a lot of agents right now in this marketplace. I'm listening to their dialogue and it's just like, you know what? It's amateur. It's time to go pro in 2018. So what do I mean by that is you really need to think about some of the dialogue around presenting offers. Because right now, the buyers in your marketplace are giving you offers like down here and your vendor's expectations on price are up there. If you're not able to close the gap because you don't have the skill, guess what? You don't deserve the sale. And those agents that don't, guess what? 2018, they're gonna be like gone out of this industry. So start adapting and learning some of the new skills and dialogues that will help you close more deals. For example, go back to some of my videos and look at some of the dialogues that I've given you around understand how you feel, Mr. and Mrs. Vendor. Other clients like you have felt the same way. But what my clients have found is once we adjusted the price at this level, we opened new dialogue with some new buyers, we started to recreate that buyer excitement, re-energize the listing, which led to offers, created competition. At the end of the day, Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, they sold their home for top dollar and felt good about it. And that's what we'd like to do for you. Dialogue is so important and so is skill. Start to separate yourself against the rest. Make sure you watch part two coming out next week if you want to own the market and also set the foundation for 2018.